All right, welcome to this new drum series from drumsaword.com. I'm Rob, and this series is going to be called Rob's Licks. And as the name suggests, I just want to teach you guys some of the stuff that I'm currently playing at the moment at the time recording these, these video lessons. Little licks, little fills, little grooves I like that, that I get inspired by occasionally. I uh, just want to share with you guys, just for fun, just so I can give you guys some ideas to play with yourself, just so you can get an idea of what someone like me would be practicing in, in the practice room on their own. Um, just to give you some inspiration and again some direction, some ideas, just for fun really. So I'm going to make these videos as short as possible, I don't want to waffle on too long. I'm um, just going to dive straight into it. I took this idea from another drummer on YouTube, forgive me, I can't remember his name, but he refers to the pattern as the 3132 pattern. And we're going to play it through triplets, we'll go on to that bit in a minute. So basically the, the pattern's linear, we're playing um, a pattern between the hands and the feet, and we're playing right, left, right on the hands in the bass drum foot. So that's our three and one bit. Then three, two, three on the hands, two on the bass drum. And it's right, left, right for the hand part every time. And we want to get those notes to, to roll smoothly together. So it's three, one, three, two, played smoothly. And to end, to resolve the pattern, uh, in this particular example, we're going to play both hands together. All keep on the snare drum for now. And, um, at the end of the two bass notes, we're going to play both hands together. So it's going to be three, one, three, two, and then both hands together at the end. And of course, you can experiment moving your hands around the drums. Just have fun with it, explore your own ideas. But what we want to do is start hearing that as triplets. And specifically, I'm going to uh, just go straight into the lick that I like to play. We're going to hear it as 16th note triplets, starting on the and of beat two. So um, we're fitting three evenly spaced triplet notes into each half a beat of the bar. So if we're counting one and two and three and, then starting from the and of beat two up until beat four, we're going to play 16th note triplets. One and two, anter to three to to anter to four. One and two, anter to three to to anter to four. Each of those anter to three to to anter to's have three evenly spaced notes, and that pattern is going to fit beautifully inside that. And what's going to happen is the hands coming down together are going to resolve, going to land on beat four. So we're going to play the high hand snare drum together on beat four. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play it as like a drum beat groove kind of idea. Starting from the end of beat two, I'm going to start that 16th note triplet pattern, and I'm going to play it around a basic drum beat. So it's going to sound like this. Here we go. By the way, I'm going to play all the hand parts up here on the hi-hat, right, left, right, right, left, right, apart from when I play the two hands together like this. So it sounds like this. One and two, and to the three to the, and to the four, and one and two, and to the three to the, and to the four. Even slower. One and two, and to the three to the, and to the four, and one and two, and to the three to the, and to the four, and let's start to speed it up now. So what you can do to can try experimenting with your hands around the kit, for example, you can keep your left hand down the snare drum and play it as a ghost note like this. Uh, move hands around different parts of the kit like this. And so on and so on, lots of different possibilities. And the final thing I want to talk about is how we can loop this round in and, and create a, a brand new pattern from it, simply by adding two more notes at the end. So currently we've got a pattern that if we play through 16th note triplets, starts on the end of something and, and resolves a beat and a half later. But we can make it last for two beats by adding two more triplet notes at the end of the pattern. So if we can 16th note triplets, it's going to last one to to and to two to to and to two whole beats. So we play the pattern exactly the same again, except we just add two more bass drum notes to the ends. which I'm not particularly smooth at, but I'll, I'll, give, I'll give it my best shot. So you can imagine playing this drum for round and round, looping it around, um, putting them, combine them together, and creating all kinds of length drum fills, something like this.
and so on and so on. So you can see I've got lots of different possibilities there. But once you've got that basic pattern down, you can sort of add to it in different ways and take notes away and do all the usual kind of cool stuff. So I hope you found that fun and enjoyable. I did, um, and I'll hopefully upload a few more of these in the future. Until then, have fun, happy drumming to you.